gold. Woo! Hello, America. I'm Reggie Braithwaite, British cowboy. Like many of you, I herd horses for a living, and I was flabbergasted by recent reports of horse meat turning up in food products all across Europe. I find the accusations, particularly by the American media, audacious and completely out of line. Let me be abundantly clear. Pound for pound, nothing suits the palate of an English gentleman like a juicy cut of delectable horse meat. yippee ki -yay! But enough horsing around. With all due respect to these majestic beasts of burden, nothing gives me more of a rush than lassoing a strawberry roan and crawling her into a meatpacking plant where her flesh can be mixed with beef and other fillers and then machine layered into a splendid Italian dinner. <laughs> what a day, darling. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Of course, many of you across the pond are likely squeamish at the thought of eating horse meat. Perhaps a little horse-eating education will open your eyes and your mouths for a delectable helping of horse meat. You've actually been consuming horse-derived products for years. That's right, that jelly dessert you ate last summer wouldn't have wriggled its way down your throat so delightfully without help from the ground-up bones of knackered horses. The same is true of marshmallows, gum gums, and, well, all told, you've eaten quite a number of horse bones in your life. Eat me, Wilbur! <laughs> <laughs> of course, British people don't actually prefer eating horse meat. It's just that I have an English accent, and Americans will believe anything I say. So what do you say? Stop beating a dead horse, and try eating a dead horse. It's absolutely scrumptious. Don't you agree, Milton? <laughs> <laughs>